meet the peppered moths of the English woods. The forest of Manchester is its neighborhood. It's gone from white to black and back through natural selection from bird attacks. Natural selection starts with inherited variation. Followed by selection of favored traits within a population If selective pressures consistently applied in the same direction The beneficial traits will become the norm It's how adaptations form Peppered moths spend their days on the trunks of trees. A Manchester bird will eat each moth it sees. Protective coloration is a key adaptive trait. A moth that stands out meets a painful fate. In 1800, that meant looking light. Cause lichens on tree bark made them look so white. So the light-colored moths in the population had a phenotype to avoid predation. Natural selection starts with inherited variation. Followed by selection of favored traits within a population If selected pressures consistently applied in the same direction The beneficial traits will become the norm is how adaptations form through the moth gene pool, white genes had spread. Genes for black were rare, their owners wound up dead. Then industrial pollution turned things head to foot. The lichen whitened trees covered with black soot. Those rare black moths started to thrive. Instead of getting eaten every year, they survived. As the white moths were eaten one by one, the black ones bred, it was oh so fun. Each moth generation takes a year, so soon the shift was very clear. The dark phenotype came to predominate, and a young white moth met a painful fate. Natural selection starts with inherited variation, followed by selection of favored traits within a population. If selected pressures consistently applied in the same direction, the beneficial traits will become the norm is how adaptations form. About 1960, things turn the other way. Humans realize pollution doesn't pay. With less soot in the air, the lichens came back. The tree bark in Manchester turned to white instead of black. I'm sure you can guess what ensued. The change turned the black moths into bird food. Today, Manchester moths are mostly white, as the birds keep on selecting, eating all black moths in sight. Natural selection starts with inherited variation. Followed by selection of favored traits within a population If selected pressures consistently applied in the same direction The beneficial traits will become the norm is how adaptations form in the 1950s, Kettlewell proved a moth with poor camouflage becomes bird food when Kettlewell's critics created a fuss. The mechanism was confirmed by Major Russ. Hey. Thank you so much for watching The Peppered Moth. Are you a teacher or a student who's nervous about the upcoming AP Bio exam? That makes sense, it's a hard test. If you want to accelerate biology learning either for yourself or for your students, then head on over to learn-biology.com. Don't forget the dash. We've got plans for teachers, we've got plans for students, and we've got plans for you. I'm Glenn Wolkenfeld. I'm an AP Biology teacher. I wrote learn-biology.com for my own students, and now hundreds of teachers and thousands of students are using it around the world, especially in the United States. Start with a free trial, use our interactive tutorials, and you won't believe how much you or your students will learn. I'll see you over at learn-biology.com or click the link below. Also, don't forget the Biomania AP Bio Learning app for Android and also for iPhone. Learn-Biology, interactive learning, you won't believe the scores you'll be earning.
Nashi, Rev, Mr. Ehlup, starts in the Shkalasov stand. <laughs> 